Okay, so this is a presentation of the Windows 7 Beta on the MacBook Pro. And I'm just going to give you a little run through. I actually have a steady camera this time, unlike a lot of the YouTube videos. So maybe you can actually see a little bit better. And what we're going to go ahead and do is just start it up and I'll show you a few things. Um, some things I'll show you are some of like the Aero theme. Um, I've actually removed a few things and we're going to test some gaming as well. And I'll get on to that as far as like specs and some other issues that you incur. Let's go ahead and boot to it. I have to wait here. And as you can see, it's a little bit glitzy and super fresh compared to the last version. Alright, so here we are at the login screen. Go ahead and log in. Windows 7 Ultimate. Alright, so I've already kind of got the desktop up to speed here. Um, changed a few things around. Um, changed Internet Explorer to Firefox. From what I understand, Internet Explorer 8 is actually not, should I say, as stable as possible alternatives such as Safari or Firefox. So you might want to stick to another browser at the time being, uh, but that's my personal opinion. Uh, I also, this does not come with, well at least for me, it did not come with the Aero theme already up and running. Uh, if you do a Google search, you can actually find a way to actually enable Aero theme. It takes about one minute if you know what you're doing, uh, but it guides you right through. Also, I removed the watermark that's here in the right hand corner which is says for testing purposes only build 7000 and there's another real quick fix to do that too there's actually a script you can download uh, if you just type in remove windows 7 beta watermark you'll find that no problem so other than that it looks pretty good the arrow theme's running great uh, i haven't had any issues with stability um, i mean essentially it feels like vista but without the garbage so one of the main things that a lot of people aren't doing that I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Um, I'm going to run a game on here. Uh, I did have an XP on this machine before and it ran pretty well. This is the 2.4 gigahertz, 2 gig RAM Unibody MacBook Pro. So base model, although I did actually upgrade the hard drive, it does have the 7200 250 gig in it. But uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm starting up Steam. We're just going to run some Left 4 Dead. Um, it's one of my favorite games. I'm kind of a zombie freak. so. I'm going to just start that up here and I'll discuss a few issues that I've actually had since actually launching it. So one issue that I have actually found since playing this on Windows 7 is it actually does, I feel that it gets hotter when I play. Uh, the keys get warmer. It actually gets so hot up here in the uh, actual key area. Let me turn this down. It gets so hot up here in the around the clutch plate um, that it, it's actually hot to touch. If you keep your finger on here for more than five seconds, you're going to definitely want to pull it away. So I never really noticed that on XP. It did get warm. The fans did whirl up, but I feel that it gets a little bit warmer on Windows 7. But let's just go ahead and start. Let's just start something here. Um, yeah, that's fine. So, as far as frame rates and performance compared to what I had on XP, I don't notice any hits. Everything is on high. Uh, the only things that I have, I do only have it on 2x anti-aliasing and 8x anastropic filtering. So, still, everything else is on high, and honestly, it looks good, and you wouldn't know it if you didn't have it. So. I'll just show you. Now, one issue that we will run into sometimes, and this happened on XP, and I think it just might be a glitch with either the game or the way that it's running through boot camp. But uh, you do get a couple hiccups for like the, about the first one to two minutes of gameplay, and then it smoothens out for about whatever, how many hours you want to keep playing it. But it's usually right at the start.
But as you can see, As you can see, it's not skipping a beat. So, frame rate is excellent. It's extremely playable. Well, and I'm dead. So I'm just going to leave it be at that point. I'm going to go ahead and just exit. But yeah, and just real quick, just to show you, I'll prove it. Um, resolution, maximum resolution, 16 by 10. Uh, let's go to advanced settings. Very high, 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 high. There's the maximum 2x, 8x anisotropic filtering. And double buffered. And with vertical sync. Must have for LCDs, in my opinion. So anyways, I'm going to quit that. It runs solid. Uh, the only issue that I've found so far is that it will run a little warm. Uh, I feel a little bit warmer than XP. But as far as the Vista look and the feel, it's all there. Uh, open up a few programs here. It's very responsive. I, the fans are a little bit kicking on. I don't know if you hear it, but you get all the little gizmos and gadgets. So. But uh, other than that, that's just kind of a little presentation of Windows 7 Beta on the Unibody MacBook Pro, and it's essentially just a base one. One issue that you'll run into that I haven't said yet is when you do the test on how it performs on it, it will default to a 3, and I think this is just an issue because it is a beta. So um, it, the area where it actually failed was the hard disk test. And I, got, I have a 7200 RPM, 250 gig drive in here, 16 megs cache. So there's no excuse why it should be doing that. I just think it's a glitch that they're going to have to fix. Everything else, as far as the standards, are testing in the 5 to 6s on a scale of 8. So other than that, I uh, wouldn't be too afraid. Boot camp drivers installed like a dream. They, everything works. All functionality from XP. Um, still use at your own risk, but I haven't had any crashes, and it's been wonderful. So, that's it. So, good luck.